What's up everyone, Adam here from Cape Crawlers and today we're installing the crawler gears and the high speed gears in our brand new Traxxas TRX 4Ms. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Got a fun video for you today. We've been having a blast with our Traxxas TRX 4Ms but we've already got some modifications on the benches for these. So we got the new gear sets. We got the crawler gears and we got the high speed gears. I also got the metal axle gears but I'm probably not gonna install those today. I think that's a project for another day. But we're very excited to try out the alternative gear sets. So we've had a ton of fun with these things already. We've installed the Pro Scale Light Kit, which is a great addition. 25 bucks, plug and play, really makes these things fun to play with. The light kits are really cool. It's got brake lights, reverse lights, you know, flashers, various settings for high beams, low beams, very cool stuff. So we've had a lot of fun with the Pro Scale light kits already. My son got the cargo trailer for his Land Rover. The Defender has been rolling around carrying snacks, mulch, all kinds of different stuff in the cargo trailer. So that's been a fun addition too. So we've really been enjoying the accessory line that Traxxas has out for these things already. But we're gonna dig into these a little bit deeper today and we're gonna customize our regs for our driving styles. You know, Axle likes speed and more fun and kind of overland which I think the Land Rover is perfect for. And I'm really anxious to see what I can get for crawling performance out of my Bronco. So we got the gear sets for each of them. So I figured we'd install the high speed set in Axel's rig and we'd install the crawler set in the Bronco. We'll do some speed tests and some comparisons for both rigs. We'll look at how much speed you gain with the high speed gearing. And we'll look at how slow and how steady you are with the crawler gears in the Bronco. So with that, why don't we jump in? We'll do the install. I think we'll do the Defender first to see how the speed gears work. And then we'll start doing some tests and then we'll switch over to the Bronco. So let's get it. So here's our Defender. So you can see what we've done. We put the Endura beadlock wheels, the green beadlock wheels on here and the little guy racing parts, Trail King tires. Now these fit pretty well. They rub a little bit at full stop but not too much. Steering, they do okay. They rub a little bit on the linkage here, but I was finding that the tires seem to rub on the linkage from the stock setting. So it's not bad, it doesn't seem to catch, but we might wanna get some spacers or something just to kind of give us a little cushion there. But in any case, let's put the speed gears in this thing. So I have not done anything to prep here. We're gonna be doing this kind of on the fly. I did get the complete transmission and motor combo because I did not want to open the gearbox up and mess with gear meshing or anything like that. I just wanted to just bolt it in and go. And you know, this is about $30, I think it is, for the whole kit. You can just get the gears for around $6, I think. So if you're mechanically inclined and not concerned about getting into that and doing the actual gears, it's a much less expensive option. But for me, paying the extra 25 bucks or whatever was worth it just to drop it in and go. So we're gonna do the speed gear swap right now. And we'll see, I'm gonna scope this out a little bit and then we'll get into this swap. Okay, so we're working our way through the install. This is actually really simple. So there's two bolts on the battery tray here that hold the transmission down. It's a, actually, it just, hinders your access to it. So I unbolted the battery tray. Looking at this now, I don't even know if I had to, but I think you do to get the drive shafts out. And then it's four bolts. It's one on each side of the transmission here. And then the thing just pulls right out, just like that, super easy. So I'm gonna try to get this out of here without ruining the Traxxas wonderful wiring setup here. And then we should be able to just drop the new one right in. Hey, swap is done. That was actually super simple. Like I said, it's just four bolts here, pop the whole unit out. You run the wires up and through the battery tray. The battery tray is actually set up in a way that it slides up and down through the frame channels here. Really cool. So the drive shafts were very similar to an SCX24. It's just one bolt on either side of the transmission. They pop right on and off. So that was really simple. So it should be ready to go. I've zip tied everything back in so it looks totally factory again. Super, super easy, very, very happy with it. So I'm gonna fire this thing up and we'll see how fast it is with the new gear set. 
I'll count to that. All right, here we are. So the Bronco is running very big tires too. It's pretty much the same diameter as the Defender. So they've both got big tires and aftermarket wheels on them. But now we've put the speed gears in the Defender. So let's do our speed test. Yeah. Count us down, buddy. One, two, three, four. Wow. Wow, way faster. Okay, now before we get working on the Bronco, I'm going to test the Bronco against our C10. So the C10 is just for a benchmark purpose. I just want to see how much the crawler gears reduce the speed of the Bronco over here. Axel Speed Demon Defender is over here just for fun. So I'm going to count us down. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> C10's little turtle there. All right, one more time coming back. Three, two, one, go. I use my terrible. Yes. So the speed gear definitely made a big difference in speed. The Defender is a land missile right now. Huge, huge bump in speed. My son is pumped. This is exactly what he was looking for. So that was really cool. So we've seen what the speed gears can do. Now let's throw the crawler gear set in the Bronco and see how that does from a speed perspective. And then we'll do some crawling. Okay, just did this swap. I got the crawler gears in the Bronco. So let's check this out against the C10. See how it goes. Wow, holy moly, it is so slow. So there we can see that the crawler gears are significantly slower than the stock version. I think the difference in the crawler gears is a more dramatic difference than in the speed gears because I feel like the Bronco slowed down way more than the Land Rover sped up, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm curious to see what you all think, but that was my impression was that the Bronco is super slow. But with this low end performance, now we got to put them out on the track and put them out on the rocks to see how they do in real world crawling scenarios. So let's do that now. Got it, nice. Low speed is great already. I can tell it's got way more control off the bottom. Feels much better from a crawling perspective. Works great. Good bump there. Whoa. Oh, good save. Nice. 
Nice. So much better.
So let's talk about these two builds. See, the Bronco has kind of drifted off into one way. The Defender has gone off in another direction. And we talked about earlier, you know, making the Defender into more of an overland rig, which is exactly the kind of the direction that we're going. So let's talk about the Defender first. So with the speed gears, this thing is definitely suffering from a crawler perspective. So we took him out on the outdoor course. You could see that this thing was just really having a hard time. I don't know if it translated fully on video, but it just did not have the low end power to get up and over obstacles. Nowhere near like it did before. And that's to be expected, right? When you mess with the gearing, you go for speed, you're going to sacrifice low end power. But that's fine because what my son likes to do is just, you know, hook the trailer onto it, drive it around like a little overland rig. So for that regard, it works perfect. You know, we put the trailer on it, run it around the yard. He was putting little cherry tomatoes in it from our garden. He just has a blast with it. So I think what we're going to do with the Defender is go more of the scale overland approach. I think I'll probably take the Trail King tires off. I might put the stock tires back on these green Endura rims just because the, the stock tires are really nice and soft and squishy and more of a scale look. So I might do that and kind of keep the Defender more of a scale overlander and kind of, you know, keep going in that direction, which we've already started. That seems to fit my son's style and his preference and the, the rig looks great. From a crawling perspective, I feel like the Defender is a little more top heavy than the Bronco. So it will naturally do better as an overlander, I think, and just a trail rig. So that's probably the direction we're gonna go with the Defender. Now let's talk about the Bronco. Holy cow, the crawler gears, what a difference in performance, night and day. So we also did the, we did the heavy Endura wheels and the new rock terrain tires on this at the same time. I did run this without the crawler gears running this tire and wheel setup and it did not do nearly as good as it did with the gear setup. The crawler gears in this thing make it a whole new rock crawling animal. I am very impressed. The indoor course runs, it was really much easier to navigate the indoor course runs, particularly the vertical climbs on the Escalator and Hell's Gate, really navigated those much, much easier. Where it really shined though for me was outdoors on the rock course in the backyard. Man, this thing would hook up and just rip up and over obstacles. I couldn't believe the stuff it was doing. Things that took several hundred dollars in the SCX24 Bronco to get up and over, this thing was able to do with just these couple mods here. Very impressed. I originally had my doubts if this thing could be a hardcore rock crawler. Not anymore. So I'm really excited to keep the build going. So we're gonna go with a rock crawler with the Bronco and Overlander with the Defender. And they just seem to naturally gravitate in that direction, I think. So the modifications begin. We'll see what's next. You know, those are the directions that we're going to go. So I'm anxious to see what else we can do to the Bronco to get some climbing performance out of it and what else we can do to make the Defender more of a scale rig. That's going to be fun. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the performance gains on both of these rigs? The speed in the Defender is pretty impressive, but I am just overwhelmed by the crawling performance of the Bronco. So let me know your thoughts down below. As always, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And stay tuned as we continue to build out these two rigs, having a lot of fun with the TRX 4Ms, and we're going to keep it going. And we'll see you in the next video.